Okay, we're back. Um, a couple other things I wanted to go over uh, that you can do to kind of make your layers fit the painting a little bit more. Once you have everything the way you want it, um, oops, let me get rid of that. Uh, once you have everything the way you want it, one cool thing you can do, um, one thing that we haven't really gone over or tried yet um, is filters. Now, what we can do with a filter, in the case of Miley's face here, um, you can see that our gentleman in the painting is composed of obvious paintbrush strokes, and Miley here is obviously a photo. Okay, so one thing you can do to make Miley's face fit a little bit better with the surrounding painting, uh, go to Filter. And if you go to Artistic and Paint Daubs, what it'll do is give you a chance to make it look a little bit more like it's painted rather than um, simply a photograph. I set both of these to 5, and it does a pretty decent job of making her look painted. Now, one, one issue you'll notice is that if your edges from your original... <clears throat> Uh, cut out with the magic wand, you can see she's got kind of a white edge around her face. One other thing you can do in this situation also is to take the magic wand, select everything in the image, um, press Control shift i so that it's just Miley's face, and then we're going to modify our selection. We're going to expand it by Let's go three pixels and see. Oh no, we want to contract. We'll contract by two. And press Control Shift I again so that slight outer border of her face is showing outside our selection. I'm going to hide everything else so you can see what I mean. So hopefully that white area falls within that boundary. And now I can erase some or most or all of it. Um, without damaging the rest of her face. Let's try and turn everything back on here. That's better. There's less of a white halo border. We can apply the paint daubs to the sky as well. So that's it. Um, see what works for you. Try them out on your own Altered Masterpiece parody, and I'll see you guys in class. And just when you thought you were free, it's time to go over the rubric. I know. But we do it for every project. You guys need to know how I'm grading you. So the first thing I'm going to look at, um, whether you built on top of the original painting or you created a new canvas and started there, um, make sure you resize so that the height is between 1,000 and 1,200 pixels and 300 pixels per inch. That's a pretty easy one to get all the points for. Uh, number two. Your parody should fit the subject matter and composition of the original painting, and I cover this at the end of video one when I'm talking about how uh, how Mona Lisa is sitting and how um, how the characters in American Gothic are positioned. Uh, number three, you chose a theme for your parody and you stuck to it, um, and that includes characters, objects, or uh, the background. Number four. You use the three main techniques we learned in class this year, so that means you created one element with the pen tool, one element with the pen tablet uh, using the paintbrush tool, and then one element using cut and pasted pictures. Now you can have more of all of those things in your painting. You can use you can use the pen tablet for 90% of it, and then just use those other tools for two other elements. It's really up to you how you want to make it happen. Just make sure you're using all three things that we learned. 
pardon my computer. Uh, number five, cut and pasted images were high enough resolution that they weren't blurry. You just don't want a bunch of blurry pictures stuck to your stuck to your canvas. Um, number six, any tool, the shape or shapes that you make with the pen tool uh, should have clean edges and clean curves. Um, you know, this is something we went over more first quarter, but there shouldn't be any squiggly extra curves around the outside or pieces hanging off. So make sure that um, that happens. And then any shading you do to the pen layers, you do it on a grouped layer. Um, that one's more for you than it is for me. If you if you paint right on a shape, after, if you if you rasterize a pen tool shape and then just start painting on it, there's nothing you can do to go back and fix that shape if you need to. So just make sure that you're using group layers. Painted layers are clean and free of artifacts. And artifacts, we've talked about very briefly, but that's any random areas of color that are just kind of floating in space. And you, you may have seen that on your letter morphosis project where we're kind of cutting pasting uh, parts of other images together and then you'd notice there was a bit of fur floating in the square for step four um, you know a little bit of your letter was still just floating there so make sure that whatever layers you're painting on you're not leaving random areas that that are just random blobs of paint well, digital paint hanging out um, and then of course the last one is always the same you gave your best effort and used your class time well for this assignment and then down at the bottom here, uh, what I'd like you to do is save a copy of this to your student folder. And then um, what I want you to do is a self-assessment. So here in these spaces, I just want you to give yourself the grade you think you've earned. Uh, and then I will give you my rating here in this row. And my comments give you your final grade. Uh, and then I'll just shoot it to you in an email. <clears throat> um, as always, if you have any questions, just ask me at school. And uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you in class.